everyone welcome to my channel and welcome to today's video today we're gonna to talk about hair and this time it's gonna be our brow and also thin in here I am gonna share a homemade remedy with you that you can use to thicken those brows this remedy contains vitamins and minerals that's gonna to have to stimulate the root of the hair and it's gonna cause the hair to go back fuller and thick so if you're looking for a remedy that's gonna give you fast hair growth follow me to my kitchen I'm gonna whip it up right Really quick and then I'm gonna share tips and how best to use it on your brows to grow them fuller thicker and also a few tips and how to use it for thinning here so today I'm gonna to be using onion and here I have a red onion Onion juice can produce extra sulfur to support strong and thick hair, thus preventing ear loss and promoting hair growth. The sulfur from onion may also help promote collagen production. Collagen turn help the production of healthy skin cells and also hair growth. Now what we're going to be doing with this onion, we are going to be blending, therefore you need a blender. So the first thing we're going to do, we are going to remove the outer peel, which is the dry part of the onion. So slowly peel this off. And what I'm going to do next, I am going to be chopping the onion for easier blending since I'm going to be using a small blender. Now if you do not have a blender, you can choose to grate the onion this is also just as good as blending the onion so peel your onion and now we're going to cut this in two halves for this mixture i'm using only a half however you can choose to use the entire onion just double up on the ingredients now once this is done let's just chop in small pieces now if you're wondering about white onions you can use white onions it's just that the fume is more stronger than the red onion so now that we chop the onion we're going to place it in our small blender and let's move on to our next ingredient here I have some apple cider vinegar and apple cider vinegar will help your hair to grow faster since it stimulates hair growth it also helps to boost the circulation and when used in your hair on a regular especially when you mix it the way I'm mixing these ingredients is gonna help your brows to grow faster and not only faster but also thicker so, so we're gonna pour this in the blender with the onion you can choose to add it after but I like to blend it with the onions to begin with so take about two teaspoons of the apple cider vinegar pour this in our blender and now let's reach for my third ingredient here I have some vitamin E oil vitamin E oil is hydrated into the skin however when you use vitamin E oil it helps to keep bacteria out of your DIY but also it helps to hydrate that skin and keep your brows laying down flat so what I'm gonna use is about a half a teaspoon of the vitamin E oil now my vitamin E oil is 28,000 IU which makes it a very thick and very rich vitamin E oil if you have less IU like 5,000 go ahead Ahead and use one teaspoon of the vitamin E oil you can even choose to use the vitamin E capsule two or three depending on the IU for this recipe now once this is done we're gonna move on to a next ingredient and this ingredient is one of along with the onion main ingredient in this recipe here I have some castor oil and now this is not your regular castor oil this is the Jamaican black castor oil this is rich in linzalilic acid which will help the hair to go much faster boot circulation this is good for dry scalp this is good for dandruff this can help your hair to look more shinier it's good to use in your hair your brows and it is also good for your lashes for bald spot anything to do with hair now my black castor oil is undiluted and that's what makes it very very thick so you definitely can mix it with other carrier oils half a teaspoon of the Jamaican black castor oil pour this in and now we are ready to blend we're gonna blend this to a nice creamy consistency Thank you. 
Now, after blending, we are gonna strain, but take a look. This is what it looks like after blending. It also contains particles, which we do not want to get on our brows. So the best thing to do is to strain. And I like to use a cheesecloth. That means I'm gonna get everything out. So we strain it, pour it in a bowl like this. If you do not have a cheesecloth, you can choose to use a marina, like I'm using an old cotton cloth is also good. Just make sure that it is clean. So we pour this in and now we strain. Now after straining, take a look, we do have some sediment and we're gonna pour this out, toss it out and now here we have our brow remedy. Now this brow remedy is safe to use on your brows. However, I do not suggest you use this one on the lashes because of the fume from the onion, but you can choose to use it on your bald spot and also on the edges, also on your scalp by massaging it in. For your eyebrows, just take a Q-tip, dip it in, and wipe it on the brow. I suggest that you use this in the daytime, wear it around the house for about an hour or two, and then you rinse off. This can be used every day for your brows and also once per week or for your scalp and your bald spot. Now give this a go, and before you know it, your brows will look more fuller and also more thicker. Store this in the refrigerator for about seven to 10 days, no more. When it is done, go ahead and make a new batch. Amazing eyebrow remedy, good for thicker, fuller eyebrows. And remember, perfect for thinning edges. So there you have it, a quick and easy homemade remedy. Now when it comes on to the fragrance, if you wanna cut back on the smell of the onion, go ahead and use a little bit of a lavender essential oil or even a little dash of your favorite essential oil. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye-bye.